There are many things that Katie has accomplished in her life that I am so very proud of her for, and I could not be happier that she has chose Joey to now share those accomplishments with. Joey and Katie have a relationship like nothing I have ever seen. It's so good. They just get each other. They share hobbies and interests, have similar goals for the life they plan to make, and they are completely secure in who one another is. <laughs> Katie told me how things, how good things were going shortly before Joey proposed. I knew then that this was serious and this could potentially be the one. Time went on after the proposal, and they continued to prove to each other why this was going to work. No doubt they were perfect for each other. But if I did have any reservations, those all went out the window very quickly when Joey came home with a perfectly groomed mullet and Katie didn't want to call off the wedding. <laughs> that was validation to me and honestly the rest of the world <laughs> that they weren't simply meant to be. Welcome today to the marriage ceremony of Joey Eversole, Katie Nethers. What a gorgeous venue. What a beautiful day. I, I learned today how they met. Um, Joey gave Katie a ride home five or six times. Uh, I don't think he had any motive or anything there, but um, what a great way to meet a friend taking care of somebody. Love isn't always perfect. It isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. It is a short word, easy to spell, difficult to define, and impossible to live without. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute, and every second was worth it because you did it together. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of the joining together of our lives. Of the joining together of our lives. And Katie, do you have a ring? If you also would place it, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of the joining together of our lives. Of the joining together of our lives. Right now that Joey and Katie have given their and pledged their faith each to the other in the bonds of matrimony and have witnessed the same by the joining of their hands, the exchanging of the rings and the vows, I do, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Ohio, pronounce you husband and wife. Mr. and Mrs. Earl Joseph Eversall. You may kiss the bride. It's time for the 
For those of you who don't know me, I am Katie's best friend, Chelsea. Uh, I've known Katie for a very long time. In fact, we go way back to when it was cool for dance teachers to make us wear obnoxious red and white polka dot tutus, and our mothers stressed about making sure our bangs were feathered far more than the girl next to us. If you don't believe me, there's pictures to prove that. Uh, we didn't stay the best of friends through our middle and high school years, but uh, I can assure you that we have made up for that time in the past nine years that we have been each other's ride or die. Shout out to the two beautiful ladies looking down on us who must have known that we needed each other to lean on in this crazy life. I can't even see where Almost every moment that I have of my years after high school consists of us being way too loud, drinking way too much, and making decisions that we can only hope our children one day don't make. Katie has been there through pretty much every major life event that I have come to so far. She stood beside me three years ago when I married my high school sweetheart. She was one of the first ones to hold my first and second child. And she attempted her best to keep me sane through her ex expertise on building a house. She keeps me grounded and is never afraid to let me know how it is. She is the kind of friend everyone needs. Lets me know when I am out of line, my clothes don't match, or my hair is a hot mess. Most times I don't really care, but I guess I appreciate the fact that she always lets me know. I'm getting to know Joey, he has showed me not only how much he loves his beautiful daughter, but also how much he loves Katie. He is the perfect fit for Katie's life partner. He lets her be 100% her and loves her more for every trait that she carries. <laughs> there aren't many guys out there that would be okay with a lot of the stuff that me and Katie get into. Hell, I still have bruises from our WWE match we had in the middle of a field last weekend for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Joey just shook his head and kept walking, and any guy who can put up with that's a keeper in my book. 
I am so unbelievably happy for two of the greatest people that I have the pleasure of sharing my life with. I know that they have a long life of happiness, love, laughter, and plenty of beer ahead of them. So if everyone could raise their glasses and join me in congratulating this brand new husband and wife, in the words of my best friend, drink up, bitches. <laughs> I've been joking with Katie and Joey since they got engaged, or even before that, about how easy his speech was going to be to write, saying all I had to do was stand up here and talk about how great Katie is to Joey and how he totally outkicked his coverage. Easy, right? But it turns out it wasn't that easy. We kept putting it off and rewriting it, but I finally started really putting some thought into it this week and thinking about all the great memories I had with the both of them and how much I've really seen the change and happiness of the both of them over the last couple, past couple of years. Joey and I have pretty much been stuck with each other since birth, and from the years 18 to 22, he might as well have lived at my house. And we did whatever we wanted, whenever we wanted. So when Katie came around, that started changing, and I always jokingly gave him a hard time about it. But I've never told Joey that I couldn't be happier for the way he's changed into who he is now with Katie, and I wish him nothing but a life full of happiness because they both deserve nothing less. So if you could raise your glasses, here's the new Joey and Katie Eversole. sister. I have been diagnosed with resting bitch face. <laughs> I'm nicer than I look. <laughs> I'm also the maid of dishonor and the black sheep of the family. Most know me as Katie's sister. I've never been Sarah's sister, Katie. <laughs> Sarah's, yeah, Katie, Sarah's sister. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a horse trailer even said Katie and Sarah, not Sarah and Katie and others. I mean, people call me Katie in public all the time. I just go with it. It's easier. Anyone that knew Katie when she was little knows she could frequently be seen around and around, running around with a kitten in one hand and a pony in the other wearing a dress and little red cowboy boots. Truth be told, I've been in denial about this day. Let's skip one. <laughs> Not much has changed. She added a couple goats to the pack, but she still loves kittens and horses and is still wearing the boots with her dress. Truth be told, I've been in denial about this day. <laughs> I tried to get out of it several times, both the wedding and the bachelorette party, but Katie wouldn't let me. 
When she told me how big the bridal party was, I was like, seriously, I don't need to be in it. <laughs> then when she told me there would be over 20 girls going to Nashville, staying in one house, I said, I don't need to be there. I did not see anything about that going well. But to my surprise, it was a drama-free trip. No one fought over the bathroom or got lost. I mean, I was still the party mom, watching from the distance, making sure everything was okay and no one went past their limit. Despite Katie and Derry giving me a run for my money, they were trying to get into random cars on Broadway while we were waiting on our lift. <laughs> we made it home safe and everyone is still friends. So once again, she surprised me. I've always tried to tell her to learn from others, but she says she needs to make her own mistakes and learn her own lessons. You see, when Katie wants something, she goes all in. I like to plan, weigh out the options, compare differences, not Katie. For example, Katie found a chunk of land for sale and had to have it, despite dad and I telling her to wait till she was done with school. She bought the land. As soon as she was in her final year of school, she decided she was ready to build a house. Again, despite dad and I telling her to wait till she had a job. She built the house. As soon as she gets a full-time job, she decides she needs a new car. Again, despite Dad and I telling her to save up for emergencies, she bought the car. <laughs> this side. Because of this and her bridezilla moments, she has been granted the nickname Katie Kardashian. <laughs> so she must know that Joey is the one to go all in with him and plan to the rest of her life with him. When they started dating, I was nervous about him already having a kid, but you couldn't ask for a better young lady to be a bonus mom for. Julia is a sweetheart and I look forward to being the cool aunt. I'm not married on paper, but I've been with Josh for 13 years. So here's my advice to the newlyweds. If you haven't learned by now, Katie is the stubborn one of the family. So set the ground rules now, and then just do it Katie's way. <laughs> If Katie ever asks if something makes her look fat, gasp, as if you're surprised, and then just tell her she looks better in an outfit that you like. If she's ever acting irrational or moody, she's hangry. Get her a McChicken with pickles and buffalo sauce. P.S. She hates if you have to pay for the buffalo sauce. You should be good to go after that. <laughs> she ate that today. <laughs> Don't listen to the never go to bed angry bullshit. Sometimes you just need a good night's sleep and them to know their place on the couch. You can make up after they buy you breakfast. <laughs> The two secrets to a long, happy marriage are a good sense of humor and a short memory. I know Katie has both, so I hope Joey does too. And to Joey and every other husband and boyfriend and significant other here, never judge your partner's choices because you are one of them. Come to know your time may be shorter than expected, so take every opportunity to live life to the fullest. Take the vacation, 
go on the road trip, eat the cake, plan for the future, but live for today. To love, laughter, and happily ever after, raise your glasses to the bride and groom. Cheers, bitches. Yeah.